Wawa. It was a night like any other, 2 p.m., dry in a rainy kind of way. The air was mostly still with a light 80 miles per hour breeze. I leant against my windowsill, pondering what awaited me, before turning back my right hand man, creature, purple thing. We're humans, creatures of curiosity, and being enjoyers of Rainworld only exacerbates that fact. A game full of mysteries and curiosities. But in escape of deceit and misdirection, one question remains unanswered. What is a slug cat's true texture? I know what you're thinking. Letha, they're obviously f- Nobody is questioning this. Well, I would have thought so too. But it seems that's not the case. It seems that we've yet to conclude this integral information. It seems that the single most important piece of law has been left unanswered. After several rounds of illegal and unethical brain analysis, I've concluded that the Rainbow community is not yet in agreement. For the unindoctrinated, this debate dates back to the very beginning of Rainworld's existence. As people started discussing and drawing our adorable sluggy protagonist, the question seemed to always rear its ugly, untextured head. For the future of humanity, we are getting to the bottom of this today. Because I want answers. No, no, I need answers! A raging mob has formed outside my house because Five Pebbles keeps posting my IP address online. They're brutal and bloodthirsty and ready to kill any second now! Look at them! <laughs> Savage heretics! Why? Good question to start. We can see the slug cats, we know what they look like. In game sprites and official art exist, so why the debate? The obvious first place to look is in the game. How do they appear in sprites and cutscenes? The actual in game sprites are very simplified, so we can see no clear indication of fur. But to be fair to fur believers, a creature type we know has fur, scavengers, appear to be smooth in their sprites, but in official art we can see their texture more clearly. So what about the cutscenes, the game art? I was going to go on this whole segment tallying up the fur versus no fur rep in the cutscenes, but there is in fact no indication of fur anywhere. If we take a look at some of the scenes where slug cats appear wet or in the rain, they still appear consistently smooth and interact with water and light the way you would expect a hairless creature would, or at the very least not in the way a creature with regular old mammalian hair would. With that being said, slug cats also don't appear visibly slimy, just white blob things. So I'd say inconclusive for now. So if this is the case, where does the dispute come from? Where's the disagreement? Where do these inclinations of fur, slime and other wacky textures come from, if not visually in the game? After some research, I conclude with 100% certainty there are three main textures the community has agreed could be possible. Slimy, furry or smooth, or a combination of some of these traits. Aside from a few people who have now been jailed for their insubordination, we are all on the same page. Over the course of this video, I will discuss and investigate each possibility and do my best to find evidence for and against until I get answers. How is this even a question? It's in the name, slug cat. I don't understand. It is a slug cat. It is slimy. This is wet. It has fur. What sort of creature is dry? It is in the name, a slug cat. A slug. Have you ever felt a slug? They're wet. Have you ever felt a cat? They're dry. So what happens if you mix the two? It is a wet cat. A slug cat. It's like an otter. I don't understand. How is this even a question? Uh, it's wet! Slug cats should have fur because they're part cat. The slimy slug part is probably more for slug cats that are actually meant to be pipe cleaners, or for slug cats that get wet often. Okay, well, so you see, in my opinion, it doesn't matter what they feel like because regardless, I really want to hug them anyways. Like, um, uh, like if they let me, I mean, um, <laughs> I want to hug a slug cat. They seem very nice. It seems like it would be very wonderful to hold them, and I would hug all of them that would let me, um, even if I got, like, buried in a pile of slug cats, that would be okay. I think about this a lot, actually, um, and I think it's probably, like, slime, they're, like, slimy, but not slimy, like, like, mucus, 
but like the slime that they make on Instagram, like that type of slimy, especially with how like heavy they fall down on things. Like when you like jump from a high height, imagine falling down from the wall and it's like hard impact. That's what I feel like it's like. I feel like on their outside body, I don't know, it's not depicted in game, but I feel like they would be very prone to like picking up dust and dirt, that kind of sticky, but they still have a skeleton on their inside. The name, let's tackle this first, it's a very common and fair assumption to make. Slug cats, must be slimy like slugs, or fluffy like cats. Slug cat. Slug cat. Slug. Cat. Cat. Cats have fur, right? WRONG! Okay, well, right, but irrelevant. Slug cats are not named after being cat or slug adjacent in any textural way, or otherwise. We can fully ignore the idea of feline or gastropod origin due to where the name originates. That being from a fan comment on the developer's video stating, Slug cats, smiley face. This is also confirmed in the Rainbow Discord to be the case by y'all. I believe this is more than enough to conclude that the name is unrelated to our sluggy specimen's hypothetical finger feeling. For myself and other textual truthers, this is a yappy moment. Except it isn't, because there are significant other reasons to believe slug cats still have traits like fur or slime, aside from their names. And a quick aside, when I say fur, I also mean hair or any other fine thread-like strands made from the protein keratin, growing from the skin of humans, mammals, and some other animals. Thank you Oxford Dictionary. So, what are these other reasons for believing slug cats may have slime or fur? Honestly, I don't know what everyone is arguing about. I mean, they look and sound super slimy and sluggy, for sure, but having just only flabby and slimy skin in that kind of environment that they live in, it must not be good for them at all. The only thing that has fur would be saint, and fur is a bit of an understatement. They're like the god of floof, so yeah, nothing compares to the floof god themselves. For me, I personally think that it's a mix of both slime and fur. I think the texture of a slug cat will depend on the environment they develop themselves in. As Rivulet is a slimy little guy and Saint has visible fur. If we talk about the usual slug cat, I would say it will be a point in between. Short hair and oily to the touch. After all, they need to be slithery if they want to survive at the bottom of the food chain. That texture depends on, like, what they would... What slug cat you're talking about? Like survivor, monk, hunter, gourmand would have shorts fur, maybe with the slightly slimy texture. We have Saint with the densest, fluffiest fur warding off the cold. And Rivulet would have a slimy texture to help with their swimming. While Artificer would have spiked, charred fur from constantly being lit up. Spearmaster might be a hairless cat where there is fur but it's so short and thin that it almost goes unnoticed. The sound. The best way to test this is to head into the field and see for ourselves. Alright. Let's so just walking around. Ooh. I would say those are some pretty dry footsteps, right? But... That sounds pretty... Right? Wait, let me shut up. Tell me I'm wrong. There's some moisture right there. But that... That sounds kind of... right? I personally, when I turn around, I don't go... You know, that's not what I'm getting up to, really. That sounds wet! That's, that's a wet... Oh, you know what? Doesn't that sound wet too? It does. It totally does. I think this is a point to the slime. And a slide. Oh, see? It's. Yeah. When I'm sliding around on my belly on the weekends, I, I don't make that noise. I would say this is quite compelling evidence. At first, I wasn't quite sure, but after maxing the audio and destroying my eardrums. I hear the moistness. Aside from the steps, the movement does have a distinct wetness to it, or maybe more so stickiness. But consider this as a counterpoint. As many people know, this is a rain world. Rain is wet. (laughs) 
Maybe if we used to rip slug cats out of this world, they would lose the wet. I'm going to say in my unprofessional opinion, this is solid evidence towards slug cats having some kind of slime or moistness or something, but this could just be because they live in a rainy world. Okay, so, hear me out. I have this theory that slug cats' bodies have a soft marshmallow-like texture. It's soft, but it's not as squishy as one. It has to be something more durable to deal with explosions, bites and stuff, so it has to be some kind of thick rubber. That would make sense since there's pearls describing slugs as pipe cleaners. It, it makes sense. It, it's right there. It, it's there! Slugcat the furry versus Slugcat the slimer. Everyone knows Slugcats are cool as fun, but who knows if they're furry or slimy? Slugcats ex exhibit fur by being scrunkly little peepos, but they exhibit slime by secreting various mucuses to slide through pipes and escape the gnashing jaws of a lizard. Keep it up, baby. Some think of slug cats as tiny wet rodents, or large fluffy friend-shaped friends, but I per chance believe they are simply small, two feet tall creatures with a fit thin coating of slimy mucus and fur, the occasional fluffy outlier, and vice versa. In my humble opinion, I believe that slug cats are like pipe cleaner texture, but they're pretty wet as well, because it's rain and it's rain world. Rain world is in the name of the game. Yeah. I believe that the slug cats have smooth skin with a layer of mucus on top. Uh, to prove this, they were originally made, they were created to slip through pipes, clean things. They had fur, uh, and really any type of fur, even if it was like an otter, like um, I'm assuming a lot of people are going to say, uh, it would get knatted, uh, stuff would get stuck in it, it would get stuck in stuff, and it would be a, a big hassle to deal with, and I don't think the ancients would really want that. They've already got a lot going on with the whole dying thing. Uh. It's time we talk about the pearl. Possibly the closest and only concrete evidence we have. So, as I'm sure some of you know, the most info we get about what slug cats actually are is contained within this specific pearl found at the top of a tower in the centre of shoreline right there. I'll just read the relevant parts. Wait, 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 don't click off. It's not just reading. Subway Surfer gameplay. Ooh, yes, viewer attention, yes! It is the genome for a purposed organism. A small slug to clean the inside of pipes. Do you know what a purposed organism is? Actually, you're talking to one right now. When I came into this world, there was very little primal fauna left. So it's very likely that you are the descendant of a purposed organism yourself. The key info we get from this pearl is, there was a purpose organism, which was a small slug to clean in the inside of pipes, its race of purpose organisms, and that slug cats are highly likely to be purpose organisms as well. And that's it. Nowhere does Moon say that you are the pipe slug. In fact, she only says that it's highly likely you're a purpose organism, not specifically the slug creatures. But it's heavily implied, right? Since slug cats have slug in the name, so it's probably referring to their ancestors. We know the name Slug Cat is just that, a name. I can say that this pearl is not referring to Slug Cats at all. If I had to guess, I would say the most likely contender for what they are is the predecessor to the grapple worms, since they seem close enough. I trust that thing to clean pipes. And in all honesty, what are they? But it's just as possible the pearl refers to something completely extinct, I suppose. If you still have any doubts, I do think that this comment from you are cements the fact that the slug part of the pearl is not in reference to Slug Cats. One last thing, bringing this pearl to Pebbles brings some additional information, mainly that this slug creature has no eyes. And do you know what else is eyeless? But this is more food for thought, since this is from downpour after the fact, so it's not necessarily consistent with the original pearl's intention. That's all well and good, but I have an issue. A small little issue. A minuscule teeny weeny woozle of an issue. Where the fuck's the rest of it, mate? Where are the pipe rats? Have I been gaslit? Mandela affected? We genuinely got psyoped because there's no pipe rats, that is not a thing. Except actually no, there is no we. We did not get psyoped. I got psyoped somehow. I was thinking, oh this must be a thing, because when I asked on Twitter, people kept bringing up pipe rats. No, that never happened. No one did that. Like, I just imagined this. I asked in the Rainworld server and no, this is not a thing. Thank you to the kind people who helped me out there, by the way. I really hope someone watching this is on the same page as me, because otherwise I've just been believing for years like a fool that pipe rats are a thing, and they don't exist. The word rat is never even said in the game. What? Then I checked the server history, and 31 results. 
sigh of relief. Okay, I'm not crazy. Let me out of my cage. So, pipe rats are a thing. Where did this come from? Because it's not in the game. I did find this Tumblr post created by Raintailed, which I would recommend checking out. It's a really cool concept art and exploration of potential sluggy ancestors. And the creator named them pipe rats. She goes into lots of detail. I found it very interesting and well illustrated, so I definitely recommend checking that out. I'm also thinking now, perhaps this is where I heard pipe rats initially, and my Swiss cheese brain was just like, yeah, that's canon. But through grueling investigation, I managed to track down the first mention of pipe rats I could find, from Molly OS in 2019. I did what any detective would do, and I asked her for the information I needed. She wasn't sure, because you know, a random five-year-old server message, but she was kind enough to answer my very random question and share her own opinion on the matter. I think they are smooth, like a dolphin, you know, and maybe a bit slimy. Not like a slug or a frog, those are really slimy. I mean like just a little bit, like a bit moist, because I mean, the entirety of Rainworld itself is moist. You're always kicking up water droplets off the floor when you slide and turn. And there's also the art, which is the one piece in that weird region. I don't know which it is. The one with the green water and survivors standing on a rock. Was There's the little leeches crawling up into the rock, and they're distinctly slimy and shiny and wet from the water. Survivor is not, like, super shiny or slimy. I just think they're, like, smooth and a bit slimy. I don't know. They're not furry, that's all I think. From here, the trail runs cold. So, if anyone knows anything, please let me know. I repeat, if anyone knows the origin of the pipe rats, please tell me. The texture conspiracy was always a cover for the true question. What is a pipe rat? So, if the pearl got us nowhere, what the hell even are slug cats? If they aren't slugs, or cats, or rats? After looking at the pearl, we are no closer to knowing what slug cats even are and can't use their supposed pipe cleaning properties to inform some kind of bristly coat or sticky slime. Has all this investigating led to an underwhelming dead end of failure on my part? Is this the end? No, of course not! Look how much time we have left! I can tell you that slug cats aren't slugs or cats or rats. But they are rodents. Probably. More like rodent adjacent. We can see evidence for this here, where an echo refers to them as such. And here, where Pebbles calls Rivulet a wet mouse. Mice are rodents, and rodents have fur. <gasps> you may be thinking, it's slug over, it's monk over, it's hunt over, it's gorm over, it's art over, it's spear mast over, it's saint over. But I can also tell you that it doesn't matter. Over. Aside from the fact that it could be the case that slug cats just look like rodents, the same way I could call this a wet mouse, but it doesn't change the fact that it's uh, one of these. Regardless, I don't think this is strong enough on its own to draw a conclusion, because, to be honest, a lot of Rainworld creatures don't necessarily reflect their real world counterparts past some resemblance. So, for that, I don't think it's enough by itself to prove their touch sensation includes any fur. While we're on the topic, I think now is a great time to go into a surprisingly common creature I've seen brought up, that being... Okay, so I'm kind of like playing Fortnite right now, so I gotta multitask, but, um... I like to imagine that slug cats are uh, kind of like a like a velvet texture. If you ever pet like a chinchilla or something, kind of like that. I imagine sort of like something between hairless cats and seals, slimy but still very you know leathery, perhaps with early noticeable like very faint peach fuzz over fur. Not like especially slimy, more like wet, I guess. I was thinking maybe like a dolphin. It's also like kind of shiny, reflective from like the wetness, question mark. But you know, like not like super slimy, not like slug slimy. I guess I never imagined them as like slug slimy. Anyways, yeah, I'm team uh, dolphin slug cat, like slightly wet, kind of smooth and like a little bit reflective, but not like shiny like a fish. Yeah. Honestly, I don't have much to say about this. I just think it's kind of funny how often otters came up in people's answers. And don't get me wrong, I think it makes sense. They look like slug cats, right? I think so, but I believe the crumbs of evidence we do have point to slug cats being inspired by rodents. The same way scavs are inspired by primates, 
They aren't monkeys, they just have monkey vibes. So like cats have rat vibes. While scrounging around for more info, I found this Reddit comment which raises a really good point. I'll link the post I bring up in the description for those curious. Under a post by Cade the Stampede titled, What Slug Cats Actually Are, a user, Biz, left a comment saying, Nope, they're similar to rodents, but keep in mind they descended from purposed organisms, pipe cleaners. Looking at the concept art, you can see they indeed have rodent-like skin and no fur. Slug cats are rodent-like creatures with no fur, except for saying due to cold weather. While I don't agree with every aspect of this because of what I've already covered, the two pieces of concept art they highlight are very interesting. What stuck out to me the most were the tails, because that is one rodenty tail if I've ever seen one. I know you're thinking it's all well and good comparing Rainworld to Earth and slug cats to the animals we've got on this wet rock, but Rainworld isn't Earth. Earth don't do that. That isn't people. But there are lots of real-world animal influences around. Right, lizard? Monkey? Jellyfish? A bug? Another bug? Another bug? I mean, I guess there's a bird. Leeches? Leeches are real. You get my point, plenty of animal type things. Now this might be an unpopular opinion from old D.I. Leith, but I don't think there's any reason to believe they have any fur. Consider this, Saint, the green, has quote unquote fur, which we can see on his sprite and in the art, whereas all the others do not. In the concept art, there's no indication of fur anywhere at all. Same for the cutscenes and merch, well, most of the merch. I think to go on and try and prove slug cats are hairless would be the same as trying to prove a negative, which is for silly billies, but I hope my explanation is adequate. So if they aren't furry, they must be slimy then, right? Nah, mate. I know that the devs forever ago, I think, I feel like I remember reading somewhere that they like directly said that slug cats were in fact not slimy. But considering that like their pipe, like they, they go through like pipes and stuff, I feel like they should have some sort of film on them. Because I don't think they have fur. Other than Saint, of course. It's like, kind of like a fish, but not like a slug. You know? Like, if you, if you touch them, you'd be like, oh my god, that's wet. But not like, it'll like leave like a bunch of residue on your hands, you know? If you like picked one up. I guess like a dehydrated slug. Like, if you like took a slug and like left it out, and he was like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm lacking my water. I feel like that slug cats, their like texture is like human flesh but like covered in slime. So instead of like scales or fur, it's just like like slimy flesh. Also, I think Saint's fur is very rough because there's no way it's gonna stay fluffy with all that snow around. Personally, I think they will feel like Sphinx cats because, because um, um, because, yeah, no, yes, because, because yes, because. In regards to the texture of the slug cat, I've always viewed it as kind of like one of those hairless sphinxes, but less wrinkly? That sounds a little silly, but it makes the most sense to me. It, it just seemed a little too smooth to be fur, but I don't think it's slimy either. I know it's a bit controversial, but back in 2018, I remember Chor responded to a question uh, about them being slimy with they are not slimy, and I know that's from 2018, but I'm kind of sticking with that answer. I'll be brought a screenshot to my attention which I think cements the fact that slug cats are not coated in slime. Yours says here, very to the point, they are not slimy. I don't want to say case closed, but goodness gracious, case closed, stamp the paperwork, it's so over, but in a good way this time. We have an answer. Additionally, I think the sound design of their slides and thuds could be summed up to the environment rather than the slug cats themselves being slimy. So they aren't slimy, they aren't furry, they have to be smooth, right? They wasn't rhetorical, they also just look smooth, so I guess the true answer was just the simplest. To end this investigation, I give you a quote from someone who has come up many times in this video. They are just a white, chubby creature. You know, no matter what you believe, in the end it wasn't about soft or smooth, furry or slimy, it was the friends we made along the way that matter. In a world of five pebbles, we're all just rain world at the end of the day, at the end of the cycle. I've been Luther, your host with the most, Thank you for- oh. 
Well, I can't end the video there. I need to thank all the lovely people who made this video possible. First of all, I'd like to thank all of my lovely patrons for helping support me making high quality worm content for all of you. Massive thanks to Nibbles, Ash Martin, The Orpa, Chipsfish, Maroius, Cousin Sean, Anonymous, Yoshim, Mystic Rascal, Sniper Shark, HS Chem, Frank Fontaine, Patchy, BV, Phila, Jupiter, Opashu, Casey Dodger, Dimitri Pia, Val, and The Frightened Sloth. If you like my stuff and want to join this list of lovely people, check out my Patreon. I post sneak peeks and progress to upcoming videos, you get a cool little drawing, and you can join my Discord server if you're into that. Now I need to thank all of the people kind enough to lend their voices and or thoughts for this video. Unfortunately I couldn't fit every single answer since I got a lot more than I thought, but I tried my best to include as many as I could. If throughout this video you didn't hear or see your opinion, then check in the crowd because you're there. Somewhere. And if you found anyone who made an appearance in this video humorous, interesting or found their OCs to look cool, etc, check out the description for links and usernames. Big thanks to everyone who's scrolling by right now for submitting your thoughts and opinions, as well as everyone else who dropped their opinion who aren't in the video. Every single answer helped inform this video in one way or another, so thank you. And of course, last but certainly not least, thank you for watching this video. Last one for me, this video was Ferric Falls, came out a bit late, just a tiny smidge, and um, I wanted to say don't take this too seriously, it's just my conclusion on the matter based on what I can find. Believe what you want, draw them how you want, say it's canonically bold, be nice to each other in the comments, and have a good day. Well, I guess that's it. Bye! Get the fuck out of my house!